Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbilly Spikes of Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video a little bit darker than normal, uh, depending on your outlook. Uh, it's how the uh, cast members of the Beverly Hillbillies passed away, aside from Max Bear Jr., who's still alive, of course. Um, let's start with Irene Ryan. Irene Ryan is perhaps best known for her role as Granny in the Beverly Hillbillies. In fact, she became nominated for two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. However, outside of the show, she also known for her Broadway and vaudeville performances, as well as work in film, TV, and radio. Ryan had a terrible smoking habit. Her castmate, Max Bear Jr., even mentioned that she smoked like a chimney. Uh, while performing Pippin on stage, she, she suffered a stroke and went to the hospital. Now there, the doctors discovered she suffered from a malignant brain tumor. And she passed away on April 26, 73, in 1973, at 70 years old. Buddy Ebsen was the crowning jewel of the Beverly Hillbillies, but did you know that he originally didn't even want to play the role? When he got asked to play the role of Jed Clampett, he nearly turned the role down. Thankfully, he decided to accept it and eventually became dedicated to the character. He finalized his career in 1999 with the final act appearing uh, being the show of King of the Hill as a character Chet Elderson. His old age and failing health caused him to stop acting. He spent the rest of his days living a quiet life in California. Died on July the 6th of 2003 at the age of 95. <clears throat> Nancy Culp is well known for playing the role of Jane Hathaway, the role of the secretary in the Beverly Hillbillies. However, her first pa passion in life was journalism. Still, she became interested in film and began la landing non-speaking parts. After playing secretary on the Bob Cunningham show, however, other directors uh, began to realize that she had a real talent for comedy not long after she was casted for the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, Culp was diagnosed with cancer in 1990, died a year later on February the 3rd of 91 at age 69. Donna Douglas is well known for playing the role of Ellie Mae Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies, but she had an impressive acting career even outside of the popular sitcom. In fact, she even starred alongside Elvis Presley in the 1966 film Frankie and Johnny. Uh, right after the Beverly Hillbillies wrapped up, however, Douglas decided it was time for a career change. Uh, she found a job in real estate, though it didn't last long. She continued to act for a little longer before going to becoming a gospel singer. Later on, Douglas lived a peaceful life filled with travel, gardening, and spending quality time with close friends and family. Sadly, she died on January 1st of 2015 from pancreatic cancer. She was 82 years old. Raymond Bailey played the role of Mr. Drysdale, the banker, who managed Jed's fortune. In the show, Jed would frequently uh, nearly change his mind by withdrawing his money and returning to his old home in the country. Mr. Drysdale, however, would readily find a way to keep the Clampett family firmly located in Beverly Hills. Uh, during the last few episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies, however, Raymond Bailey began to exhibit uh, symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And only made a few film appearances after the show canceled. In 75, however, he had to retire due to his Alzheimer's. He spent his last years of life mostly a recluse, although he occasionally kept in touch with one of his former castmates, Nancy Culp. He sadly died of a heart attack on April 15th, 1980, at 75 years old. And of course, uh, Max Bear Jr. is still alive and well. There's uh, hoping he's got a, several more years in him. Uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, I'm sorry if this brought you down. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. I don't know over there. Don't forget about classic rock and country classic, uh, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. I don't know over there. Have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.